Good morning, Lavish family. Welcome back to the channel. So today is Tuesday, and <clears throat> I'm about to make some coffee, have some breakfast before... Sorry, my lighting is off. make some coffee and um, have a little bit of probably some oatmeal before I head off to my neurosurgeon appointment um, yesterday I had an appointment with my primary care doctor um, and that went pretty well um, I've lost a few pounds so <clears throat> we decided to just stay on the very low dose of Phentermine to continue my weight loss journey um, and then I think um, Dante and I are going to go after my appointment to get a new coffee machine because this one is starting to act up. Holies. So, yeah, so this one is acting up. Let me show you what it's doing. So it's brewing, but then it'll stop because this is not being held all the way down. So it's not like doing the entire cup. So you have to hold this in order for it to continue to like brew, which is a pain. Um, I end up getting this smaller one. Hold on. I ended up switching to the smaller one because we didn't have a whole lot of like cabinet space or counter space um, prior to me putting this beverage center over here. So that's why I ended up getting a smaller Keurig than the one that we had before. <clears throat> for that reason and now that we have more space we can look for a different one but it sucks because we've only had this one for maybe a little bit over a year even though I didn't spend a whole lot on it I think I got it on sale but it still sucks so um, yeah, so we're going to go and look for a new coffee machine today. And another thing that broke, what I tell you, hold on, let me finish my coffee and then I'll tell you. Okay, so another thing that went out about, it's probably been a good month or maybe almost two. I don't know what the hell. Hold on. Okay, so another thing that went out was the sound on, um, <clears throat> my TV in the loft so the sound stopped working it's been about two months I, I don't even know why I even told y'all but it's been about two months every time I thought I I said it, I didn't but anyway yeah so that went out I don't even know first of all I can't even remember where I bought the freaking TV and I don't remember if I bought um the the insurance or the like extra warranty for it because the lady who did my taxes have not given me my taxes back so all of my receipts from that year is still at her house now I can't blame myself as well because hold please like I'm not like constantly hounding her for them even though like I've asked her and then like she don't really reply um and, but it's like, and then when I, and then when she do reply, she doesn't give me a time and a day that I can pick them up. And you, I don't want to just like pop up at her house, but I need to just pop up at her house and be like, hey, can I get my taxes? Um, but <clears throat> I probably need to reach out to her, but my plate is kind of full right now. But anyway, that's not even the point of this conversation. The point of this conversation is my TV went out. And my coffee maker is going out. So, um, hold on a second. Because I love my tax lady, just so you know. I do. I love her. Um, but I just um, need to get to figure it out. I was thinking that since it's just the sound, maybe I can buy like a sound bar to like, and that will help versus buying a whole new TV. But I don't know. We've tried everything 
and Amani said that the review said that that's common for that type of TV. I know I didn't spend a whole lot for it. I'm pretty sure I got that on like Black Friday or right on some type of a sale. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I did. Um, but that's what you, that's the chances you take, and I need to just invest in a new one. But I think I'm gonna try the sound bar first. If if the sound bar works or some type of a speaker, then I'm gonna just stick with that. But I haven't really put much thought into that either. You know, I guess because we have other TVs, but it's in the loft and that's my space. And now that I'm about to be on bed rest, I don't want to have to just be like confined to the bed when I can actually get up and sit in the loft. So maybe that's something that we'll look at today as well. Um, but either way, I guess I'll pick back up the camera um, after breakfast or after my doctor's appointment, one or the other. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish getting ready so we can get out of here because it looks like it's about to rain yet again here in Georgia because that's all it does is rain. So um, I don't want to be stuck in traffic. If y'all know Georgia traffic, y'all already know. And I'll, and I'll do an outfit of the day before I go. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, so quick outfit of the day. It's going to be this one-piece uh, jumper. It's all black. And then I have on these animal print sandals. The same brown purse that I've been carrying all week because uh, you already know I'm too lazy to change it. And my same glasses because they also have on this. They have this animal print to match. But yeah, just a quick outfit of the day. Oh, I need to get a sweater because it'd be cold in the doctor's office. So let me do that and then I'm going to head out. So Dante and I just finished. So Dante and I just finished having lunch at Cheesecake Factory. Now we're at Best Buy, um, hoping to find a coffee maker as well as a sound bar for for our TV in the um, in the loft. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Hey y'all, so we are back from um, Best Buy. Um, I came in and my lighting is, my lighting is changing. But I came in um, and put my hair in a ponytail because, of course, the humidity was not my friend today. Um, and I started looking like a poodle. So, um, I'm upstairs because Dante is trying to install my sound bar out here in the... Oh, I'm out of breath. Um, out here in the loft. Um, and hopefully it works. So, let me show you what I end up getting. Okay, so I got, well, Dante got it because, you know, I don't know anything about this type of stuff. But um, it's a JBL Bar 2.0 All-in-One MK2. So, he's over there trying to make it happen. Fingers crossed that this works because, um... I don't want to be confined to just the bed and my recovery time is at least six weeks at least so okay so he got the TV on let's see if it's gonna make some noises oh here nothing maybe I'm too uh, anxious Y'all hear that? Hey! I don't even know what this is, but I'm just so happy to hear some sound out this TV.
Thanks, Bates. Yeah. It works. You're the best. It Which, works. Yeah. <gasps> it's been what about two months? You Has it been two months? Really Has it been two months? Yeah, something like that. Two Isn't months. That great? I'm so happy. So let me go downstairs and show you the coffee maker we got. I'm vlogging. I keep asking, what are you doing? I'm vlogging. Vlogging what? Okay, so Dante and I already came in, put the coffee maker up here as well. <laughs> he is on it. He took the old one down. And then this is the one that we got. We got another, I think this is, oh, this is a ninja. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the one we ended up getting. I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging in um, Best Buy because their music was too loud. So let me show you. It has a frother right here on the side. So you can just push it back. It has the adjustable um, cup thing so you can move it up to here. Wait, that ain't right. Oh, there you go. So you can move it up. Or you can move it down, depending on how big of a cup you use. Um, you can do from anywhere from 6 ounces to 24 ounces. And then that's the water reservoir back there. And then, um, let's see. Clean different type of sizing, the style of coffee and the brew thing or whatever. Um, I don't really know. I'm hoping not to break it. Okay, it has a scoop right here. Oh, and then this pulls out where you have the, whether or not you can use a K-cup or, um, how do this open? Just lift it up. We can okay, just... yeah, so it comes with the permanent filter. Or you can use the one for the K cups. So if you buy the K cups, you can use yeah. it in the adapter to switch them out. Yeah, you just put the adapter inside of here to switch it out. But this is where you can just keep it if you're not using it, which is pretty awesome. Did and you already explain the spoon? It has measurements on it. Yeah, the spoon like, so has the different measurements on it for how much coffee to put in here. Super excited. And that's how it lights up on the top. So you can even do iced coffee over here, a specialty or like stronger, classic, and then all the different sizes. Only thing about this frother, it won't warm it up like the, the one that we have already. So mm -hmm. probably won't use this much unless you want cold froth. Mm -hmm. So did you already saw this? Yep. Ready to get. Oh, okay. Thanks, husband. You know. My guest appearance. <laughs> All right. Just push that back. We only usually drink like one cup of coffee a day, and we both have already had our cup today, so we're going to clean that up. So that way we can use it for tomorrow. I'm I, super. I already rinsed out the reservoir. Oh, you already cleaned it out? Oh. Told you he own it. He is on it. We didn't even be here that long. Dante came straight in and started putting this stuff together. I'm so excited to be able to now sit in the loft again and watch TV. It be the little things. Oh, you know what? I want to show y'all something else too. So, hold please. Y'all. Okay, so as y'all know, fall is fastly approaching and in some places it's already here like of course I live here in Georgia so we're still pretty much in that ending summer days where we're still like 80s 90s degrees but some of y'all live in the Midwest or even in areas that are you know already experiencing you know those cooler nights it's time to start getting these coats and jackets in place y'all so, I'm going to show y'all my new coat that I got from the Jacket Maker. It's, the Jacket Maker is an online website that sells all types of leather coats. They sell suede coats, trench coats, you name it. They sell all things like coats and they can, you can customize them. They have, of course, the ones that are just your standards, but they also have customizable coats. 
Um, you can get like, you know, wording on them. You can get them to however you like. And I, I just wanted something more off of their normal um, stuff because I'm going to be going to Italy, y'all, in January. And it's going to be pretty rigid there. But I wanted a coat that was both fashionable and going to keep me warm. I don't have really any coats anymore because we no longer live in an area that I really require one. So this was just a perfect you know what I'm saying? Coat for me to be able to wear when we go to Italy, you know, in January. So this is the coat that they sent me. It's a bomber jacket, but it has, it's black, and then it has this white fur or lining it, like, you know, lining on the inside. So it's really nice and, like, thick. So... This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. When I tell you I am in love with this coat. I am so in love with this coat. Like when they sent it and I opened it up to you know to see what it was, I was like, "Oh my goodness. This is amazing. It feels really good. It's a very soft like leathery like suede or whatever." And then it has like all of these nice details. And I did tell them my measurements because I wanted it to fit me pretty good. And then it has, of course, a hood just in case it's raining. <laughs> yeah, so this is what the coat looks like that they sent me. It also comes with this little jacket maker book. And it's just like a notebook where you can just like keep little like notes. I love things like this because I'm always, I have so many of these because I'm addicted to one. Um, but comes with that. And then it also comes with, look like a garment bag. Oh wow, this is nice. So that when, you know what I'm saying, it's like off season for you to store it in. Garment bags like this help to keep your like leather goods from cracking, you know, because of the change in the weather. So when you're not wearing it, like it's off season, you can store it and it doesn't, you know, get any cracks or anything in your leather. Super excited about that. And it comes with also a little thank you card. Can y'all see that? From the jacket maker. And it was wrapped really nice. It came pretty quickly, too, for them to have customized mine. But this is the one that I ended up getting. I will link everything from the jacket maker in the comments below, as well as any discount codes. I am smitten with my coat and cannot wait to wear it when we go to Italy. So that's it, y'all. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hang mine up and then I will come back and talk to y'all about um, my neurosurgeon appointment today. Okay, so um, neurosurgeon. Um, I actually met with my neurosurgeon today. Um, as you guys know, my surgery is scheduled for September 6th but I hadn't met with him face to face to kind of go like to answer any questions or concerns that I had regarding my test results um so it, it I kind of already knew the answers I have horrible tan lines y'all <laughs> horrible um I usually so I've been trying not to wear things that show my tan lines because they are horrible but I just today didn't feel like I didn't feel like putting on nothing that needed an iron so anyway I'll be like squirreling y'all so anyway um he confirmed everything that I thought um regarding my surgery uh, I will be getting my hair shaved. He's going to go through my original scar 
or incision, which is the one I showed you all at the end of my vlog when I told you all about, you know, all the details about my condition as well as my surgery. I put like some pictures at the very end to show you from that. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I will be having the back of my hair shaved off for this procedure. So I won't be braiding it because I figured that will be the case. Um, my recovery is going to be around six weeks. Um, I'm not su supposed to lift anything over eight pounds. I don't know how many days I'm going to be in the hospital. He didn't even give me a certain amount this time because four years ago when I had the first surgery, I was only supposed to be there two to three days, um, but I was there for seven. And then the second surgery was all supposed to be 24 hours. I was there for 36. No, 48. I was there for two days. I don't know. I don't know. The last one I actually came home on time. But this one, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not even, I'm just trying to like <laughs> get, you know, get to the finish line basically. So whatever, you know, whatever it takes is what I'm going to do. Um, I plan to continue to keep you guys updated um, throughout. It will not be, of course, any like um, long vlogs it'll just be you know like little day-to-day -day stuff what's going on just kind of keeping you guys in the loop um let's see um yeah that's that's pretty much where we're at uh i'm just trying to like you know keep my sanity i am a little anxious i'm nervous He's telling me that there's this new numbing medication that he plans to use that came out like a year or two ago that he said it will hopefully give me like really good numbing for about three days, which is like the worst days of, you know, after the procedure. Um, so we're going to hope <laughs> that that's the case um, because this this surgery was the worst surgery I've ever had in my life um and the pain is 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 like no other so um and I mean of course you got to think about it someone's opening up your skull and removing a portion of your skull so um and that's exactly what he's doing he's removing another portion another smaller portion of my skull to release the pressure off of my cerebellum so yeah um that's where we're at i just got a delivery i don't know what it is so let's open that and hopefully it's something that can like change the way i'm feeling about talking about what i was just talking about so let me get it hold please let's see so yeah just came from amazon i know i didn't order it because I didn't order it and it also says Nisha and not my full name so let's see this is from my mother-in-law <laughs> I can already tell you this is from my mother-in-law this is probably not even for me this might be for Kai oh no this is for me it says enjoy your gift from mom Maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's for Dante. It's for me. She got me this women's plush robe with a hood in blue.
fabulous gifts for you. So she got. Can y'all see that? Let's see what's in here. Y'all, I'm trying not to cry, but it's hard because it's just a lot. It's it's a lot. And this says best wishes. Hold on. And it says sometimes you forget that you're awesome. So this is just your reminder. There's an eye mask. And it smells <laughs> so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It says this mug is a hug from me to you. Can y'all see that? Hold on, I need some tissue. Okay, I'm going to get through this, y'all. And then there's some, <laughs> some blue fuzzy socks. I wear these every day, y'all. I wear fuzzy socks every morning. After I take a shower, <laughs> I put on fuzzy socks. So these are going to be perfect for when I come home. A hug in a jar. This is a lavender calendar. Uh, oh, it smells so good. It's a lavender candle. And it smells so good. Um, this is some rose essential oil soap. Essential oil soap. That smells good too. And then there's a bath bomb. And then there's, well, I think this is a blanket maybe. It says faster for life. So maybe a blanket? So that's all that was in this box. <sighs> There's another gift in here. Oh my goodness. Just a warm hug from us while you're recoup while you recoup. <sighs> Just a warm hug from us while you recuperate from mom. Got me some house shoes, some blue house shoes. I'm trying to get myself together, y'all. I know I've told y'all so many times that I am so blessed to have such an amazing mother in love. Like, not mother in law, because this lady loves me and my kids like no other. And from day one of me meeting her when Dante and I started dating, this woman has treated me better than my own mother. And when I tell you, like, I'm so, I'm so thankful that God blessed me with Dante and his family when I needed them most. I guess he knew this storm was going to be coming and he blessed me. With them before this storm became, before this storm came, I couldn't be more thankful because, as y'all know, my sister and I we stopped talking, and I did reach out to her to try to, try to mend it, 
it didn't happen. Um, and I'm so thankful for all of y'all because, like I said, I got about 700 messages on that vlog, and the amount of love, the amount of love and support and the prayers that I've received is so heartwarming. Um, I'm just speechless right now. I don't even know what else to say other than thank y'all. Thank y'all and thank you, Ma, for just always, always thinking of us or coming through with the right things, the right sayings, the the hugs, everything. Just thank you so much, you know, Mama Audrey, for just being you. I could not be more blessed. Even Dante going with me to my appointment today and then taking me to Cheesecake Factory afterwards because he knows I like them. Well, that's his favorite restaurant, but he knows I like this pineapple upside down cheesecake. So, of course, he wanted to take me there to make me feel better. But, um, it's a sprint, not a marathon. I'll get there. Um, I'm going to probably just kind of clean this up. Call my mother-in-law to thank her. And I'll pick back up the camera. If not today, I'll definitely see you guys in the morning. Good morning, Lavish fam. So today is Thursday. And hold on, I'm about to make some coffee. Where is the cup? Hold on. Got to use this cup because this is the only one that's down here. Wait a minute, does that work? It does. This is the first time I've ever been able to put this cup under one of our coffee makers. But anyway, um, today's plan is to go to my pre-op appointment. And it's, at, it's 751. The appointment is at um, 945. But I got to leave here no later than 815 because... Georgia traffic is ridiculous. So I'm going to make some coffee, probably make me a breakfast sandwich or something really quickly. And then get on the road. Because um, I'm not even going that far. But like I said, Georgia traffic. And from there, I think Amani and I are probably going to go to the mall. Because best friend's birthday is September. But... I'm not going to be able to go to the mall anytime soon. So we're going to do that today so I can get him a couple more birthday gifts. I got him, if y'all are familiar with like the Guardians of the Galaxy, he likes the group um, character. And I cannot find it here in the United States, but guess what? When we was in Thailand... They had all types of um, action figures and stuff. So I got him that. We also had got him like a whole bunch of different little Mario, Super, um, Super Nintendo like things or whatever. Like the little uh, action figures as well. But we gave that to him as a gift when we came back as a you know surprise or whatever. As well as a Mario, Super Mario t-shirt. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then, um, so now we're just holding on to the group for his birthday. And, um, like I said, I'm going to try to get him a couple more things today while I'm out. And then whatever I don't get today, then I'll try again tomorrow because he's going to be here for the weekend. I think it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because there's no school on Monday. Um, and then I have surgery on Wednesday. So Tuesday I'll be doing my last minute prep, like rewashing my hair. I need to get a pedicure because um, I've been trying to hold off. I usually go every two weeks, but I've been trying to hold off to like right before surgery. So that way my feet ain't looking <laughs> bad in surgery as well as because I like to keep my, my toes done. And then I'm going to have my nails soaked off because 
I'm going to be in the house for weeks. <clears throat> so I'll just get a new fresh set when I'm able to get up and move around. So that's the plan. So I'll check back in with you guys um, probably after my appointment. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so my appointment is over and we are at Perimeter Mall to see if I can find a uh, best friend some new shoes because the weather is changing and I'm gonna have to try to convince him that he cannot wear Crocs all winter. So hopefully whatever shoes I buy, he likes them enough to wear, he stops wearing these Crocs every day. <laughs> Y'all, this music playing real loud, so I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna be able to do in this mall. Even though the mall empty, the music is extremely loud and I don't wanna be copyrighted. Okay, so we decided to get some lunch at the Jerk Shop Go because Amani spotted them and realized that they were from Illinois. And since, you know, of course, you know, we from Illinois, we wanted to support and they let us taste the jerk chicken and it's actually really good. So we're gonna get some lunch um, because I didn't, because Amani didn't eat breakfast before we left the house. He's also really nice and, uh, yeah, he's really nice. So, if y'all in Georgia, you go to Perimeter Mall, eat there. Yeah, support, you know, it's always nice to support a black business, um, because that's what we do. And, they're, like I said, the owner is extremely nice. So, well, Amani said it, the, the owner is extremely nice, and they will let you taste the jerk chicken is if you need to you know taste it first they do have jerk uh jerk beef as well beef and pork beef I mean, and no, beef and chicken that's they what got I said, shrimp but, and tilapia too yeah their menu is pretty huge i'll show it to you So yeah, the menu is pretty large and um, they don't really do like jerk, the old school type jerk, like jerk wings or like jerk chicken, like on the bone. Theirs is more taken off the bone and cut up, so, um, but it was really good. Not too spicy either. Okay, so I got the jerk chicken um, cheese fries, the sweet corn and a jerk chicken egg roll. And Amani has like a, Jerk chicken. <laughs> she has a jerk chicken. It's like a a milk. A milk. Some red beans and rice, and also an egg roll. While I was in Thailand, I became a big fan of the Thai milk tea. I had never tried it before, especially not here in the United States, because why? And I'm not even a tea drinker, but I just saw some here in Perimeter Mall, and I want to try to see if it tastes the same. It's good, but you know how everything is always better at the original location, uh, the original location? So it's good, but it was better in Bangkok, but it's drinkable. Um, I ended up getting Kai two pair of sneakers and like three outfits. I'll show you what they look like when we get to the house. Okay, so they may be still in the car. Okay, so I ended up getting best friend two pair of sneakers. Like I said, and hopefully he'll wear them because he only be wanting to wear them stupid Crocs all the time. <laughs> so I got him these little Nikes. That will match anything. Um, and I got him another pair of like these, I think, um, Pumas. And they were these little cute Paw Patrol ones. Um, Who talking? Who saying that? Oh, it's my phone. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, what's happening? <laughs> right. I'm like, who? Who is that talking? I was about to watch that that was in my series with that voice. Perfect. And then I also got him like um three 
<laughs> three pair of jeans from um, Carter's because Kai ain't actually gained no weight, but he got taller. So his pants from last year is like kind of too short. So I got him some new jeans. Um, and Carter's got a sale for y'all who got small kids. They had like buy one pair of jeans, get two free. So basically the jeans was $10 each versus $30. So it ain't nothing but a scam. Them jeans really should only be $10 anyway if you were able to buy one and get two free. But going on, going on, it works. Because their jeans um, are adjustable in the waist. So I like to go there or either to like the children place because he's so skinny and he's so thin that if you don't get the ones with the adjustable waist, they tend to like be sagging off of him and he have to keep pulling them up so I just like to get the ones that I can tighten up on his little waist and then he don't have to worry about that and then I also got him this little Paw Patrol um, shirt to match the shoes this one that is uh, a shark and then this amazing Spider-Man one and like I said I also had got him this little group um, what is it um, action figure thingy or whatever for when we were in Thailand so he also and every, I'm pretty sure other people are going to bring toys Kai really don't need no more toys he really don't so that's all I got and of course my chai tea but I'm going to end this vlog and then um, so I can start editing it and also finish editing up my Thailand vlogs. And then I'll probably pick up the camera this weekend when we figure out what we're going to be doing. I don't know what we're going to be doing. But I will pick up the camera this weekend. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!